The Tick Heads Podcast with Uncle Tix and Sean Hill. <laughs> Welcome to the show, a podcast about a guy with Tourette's, Uncle Tix, and a guy who doesn't have Tourette's, myself, Sean Hill. Welcome. Hi to my. What a Kumara pie. How are we? I'm good, my guy. How you doing? How's your week been, bro? Busy, bro. I've been real busy this week. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Couple Can't of wanks here, I, there, and everywhere. Wow. Tick, tick, tick. Straight in there. I um, really enjoyed the video you put up of you and Livy going out for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, that happened a couple of weeks ago. I thought it was kind of fun, though. Yeah. The one of you going out for dinner and then and then you like throwing food at her and then her trying to enjoy it. Does that happen a lot when you guys go out for like a nice um, meal? Mm. Do you find you struggle to go out to like really bougie restaurants? A succulent Chinese meal. <laughs> Yes, yes, it does happen all the time, actually, to be fair. And the other thing I really like about it is it keeps it really, really interesting. It does. So you asked, your question was, stop looking at the mic, you fucking weirdo, keep looking at the mic. Um, your question was, fuck! He pissed off with this shit already, I only just got here. Okay, all right, we've got to restart. What was the question? Um, do you struggle to go out to like really bougie restaurants? Because I feel like they're quieter and there's more ambience in there, so it's more noticeable when you're you're like throwing food at your at your missus. Yep. So most of the time, I will um, fuck your mum. Jesus, cunt. How how are we? I will um, ask to be set away from everyone else. Yeah, yeah. And and then we'll just kick off from there. Yeah. In there like swimwear. Have you ever um? Knocked- God's the only one holding me back, baby. <laughs> Have you ever knocked um, a plate out of a waiter's hand or a beverage? No. They're coming past you, you're like, yeet. But I try to grab them sometimes just to be funny, yeah. which I can't help. And people are like, you're right, sir. Oh, I'm fucking fine. But. <laughs> uh, a big show today. Coming up, we've got What's It Like. We're going to talk about um, what's it like doing a regular life situation with Tourette's. We've got our segment, The Grapevine, returning, <laughs> where we hear what's happening <laughs> on local community Facebook pages. I've got a grape. Massive promotional idea for this show, honey, Layton, honey, yeah. which is absolutely going to go viral. Also, ever taken a dick pic? How about a tick pic? There you go. Screenshot that. Sorry, I just ticked. <laughs> that, is actually, that would have been really perfect, that tick um, right there. Um, it's all coming up on the show t- today. It, hey, hold on before we move on. Yeah. Have you ever taken a dick pic? No, I actually haven't. Bullshit. I've never I don't taken believe a that. No, no, no. A and guy as good why. looking as you has never taken one. Yeah, but I'm not uh, that blessed downstairs, bro. So, oh. like, I think if I'm if I'm talking, you, you're playing to your strengths, you know. That makes sense. And for so you. for me, <laughs> you so me my as someone strengths, who has a small bro. Lahoya. Yeah, all, all right. Um, when I was trying to court women, this is before my beautiful girlfriend Jeannie, and I was back on Snapchat days as a younger man. I would send a slightly more provocative pic, but I'd always be wearing something. You know, I'd always Just be, be like the same. Yeah, yeah. I'd always be a Mondays or something. I'd never go full hog. For me, it's quite aggressive as well. So this is so this is before you rub Jeannie, eh? Um, prior to um, rubbing Jeannie, right? The, the lamp. Now you rub the lamp, and then Jeannie comes out. Woohoo! Big summer blowout. Yeah. Great. Anyway, back to the that show because I'm going to get. Tick you've ever done. Yeah, um, we're going to put that on a t shirt. Um, put it <laughs> on a never fucking t shirt. that. The frozen yeah. tick. That's amazing. Um, by the way, just for you fuckwits out there to fucking listen, you fuckwits. Fuck wit. Fuck wits. Fuck. So if you. Uh, fuck! All right. So you fuckwits, we are making merch. And uh, if you've got any ideas of, of what you'd like to see on a shirt, fuckwits, let me know. I just put fuckwit on a shirt as well. That'd be pretty funny, eh? Yeah, submit your ideas uh, at TechEds on Instagram. Or just email my old boss at Countdown. I can give you the email right now. That'd be crack up. Just send heaps of like fucking random words to them. No, don't do that. They'll, I'll get in a lot of trouble. But uh, message us on Instagram and um, yeah, we can go from there. TechEds. What's it like? This is a segment where I throw out a normal everyday situation. I ask Leighton what it's like doing with Tourette's. I hear you're going to a, a little gig this week with producer Caleb. Going to a, a rock gig. And I want to know, what's it like? You're standing out in the crowd at a gig. W- what's it like for you? Um, what's it like for me? Well, it's terrible. Because I can't go anywhere, can I? Because everywhere I go, I have to take 150,000 fucking photos with everyone. Which I'm okay with. But when I'm trying to watch the concert happening in front of me, mm. the, sometimes that, that doesn't happen or help me at all. It makes things worse. What about the Tourette side of things, though? Have you ever knocked a drink out of someone's hand or, or sworn yeah. in a real, like, quiet song? Do you ever get the impulse to, like, yell out at quiet moments of the concert? Great question. I remember back in 2017 when Michael Bublé came and played at Spark Arena. 
I didn't take you for a buble guy. I love a bit of buble. Yeah. God, he's a fucking Canadian crooner. I love him. I, that man is amazing. Multiple, multiple, multiple um, sex and roots are um, listening to his music. Anyway, love you, Michael Buble. Um... Bubway was on the stage I, playing. I'm thinking about now is beginning to look a lot like Christmas playing in the background. And I'm pumping my muzzles. No, 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 not that much. Um, Bubway was playing on, on, the, on the fucking... And I was uh, way up the back in the far right. Yeah. And I was stoked as to be here. And then he goes like this and all the music cuts. And it's just him yelling, showing, him how, showing us how good his voice really is. It's like amazing. And he's screaming, you can hear him from fucking ages away across the entire arena. And then I just stand up in front of everyone, bro. I fucking love you, Ruby! <laughs> to like 10,000 people in the arena, bro. And everyone looks at me. Oh, fuck. And he's like, I love you too, buddy. I'm like, yeah! And then the whole crowd just started screaming. Yeah, <laughs> man. I was going to say, of all the ticks to have at that moment, that's quite a good one, actually. People, people just think you're a super fan. I kind of didn't. Uh, lie about something else I didn't say. What? Oh, I did yell, Fuck yeah, brother! <laughs> <laughs> so I did, I fucking love you, my brother! <laughs> that was the tick here. Fun, eh? That's so good. All right, well, hopefully the concert goes well for you this week, man. Well, do you appreciate how I just stood up and I didn't change at all in height? <laughs> That's hilarious. They are quite tall seats. Fucking deceiving bitch. We'll be back with the best podcast promotional idea of all time right after this message. <laughs> yes! From our sponsors. Do you struggle with the most rancid as toe jams? Do your feet smell like they've been bathing at the local swimming pool or sewer pipes? Well, so do mine. <laughs> That's why I swear by puddle pots. <laughs> keep, keep going, man. You From know Tony's it. toe jams. The latest in anti-smell technology for kickle ass feet. Kickle ass feet. Simply open the pot, sprinkle in some paru ass powder in your shoes, and get on with shit as normal. Voila! Your feet are back to smelling somewhat passable. Or plausible. Don't hesitate. Buy today. Text paru ass to 6969. Wow, fine. Tick heads. That's a fucking tick. That was teats as yeah. That was Tito as. If anything could be the most teats in the world, that was Tito my bro. Anyway. Leighton, I think I have the best promotional idea for this podcast that anyone's ever come up with. Uh, so we're kind of relaunching in season three with me as a new co-host taking over from Clint. And I think we do need to put ourselves out there and, and get a bit of publicity, get people to know about the show. There's a famous New Zealand supermarket chain which is currently changing names. Yeah, yeah, what about them? Countdown is turning into uh, Woolworths or Woolies as our Australian whānau will call it. Yeah. Um, I had this idea that we could find the last countdown in New Zealand before they changed their name to Woolworths and we could show up at the closing of the last countdown. It's the final countdown! Fuck, they gave me a hell of a front. Give you the honour of jumping on the intercom and closing the final countdown in New Zealand and playing the full four minutes and 30 seconds of the song here, the final countdown. I was thinking we could get listeners down there of the podcast, we could get some food carts. Can we get some beers? <laughs> Fuck me, for surely fucking Lion or someone can fucking sponsor us. Yeah, we could get a, a concert. See, see, this is where we could go with it, Layden. I just wanted to pitch the idea, and if you're on board with it, maybe we could get some artists that famously play on the Countdown playlist. You know, when you go to Countdown, they're always playing, like, Brooke Fraser. Maybe or we Nika Moore. Fraser. Maybe we get a Nika Moore there to play Sway. <laughs> no, that was back wrong. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Is he, um, we're going to put my, that in, too. My bad. Sorry, uh, Auntie my bad Bic Anika. Sorry, back wrong. Yeah. Either, either of you would love to have you, though. I can't believe you Benny just, Tiffany? You work on the fucking radio and I can't believe you just mucked that up. Yeah, my bad. What you forget though is that I'm not very good at my job. Is that why you're the day day host? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. Is that why you're doing this? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'll see you fellas later. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, who else could we get? Benny <laughs> Tiffany, Avalanche City. See, what, about, what about Bo Munger? 
<laughs> the guy from uh, we get Bo Mungan to do a beatbox thing. That'd be mean is we just get X X Factor and like American uh, New Zealand Idol people. Jackie Thomas, Benny Tiffany, Bo Monga. Could we, we get um Ben Lummis? Oi. Do you know what Ben Lummis now does? What does he do? He owns a jet down in Tiamatu. Oh, he's doing all right for yeah. himself then, I reckon. That's cool, it is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so what do you think of my idea? If me and, uh, well, I say me, I, I probably, I'll pass this one off to producer Caleb. I'll run it up the flagpole. Uh, <laughs> if we reach out to the final countdown in New Zealand, would great. you be willing to show up at 9.50 at night and close the final countdown? What do you mean I'll be there? I'll be there from 8, mate. I'm on the piss. Give me a box of, give me a box of fucking lion red or something. I don't know. Yeah, it will box be a, of lion brown. It'll be an unpaid gig. A box of Dobros on his rider, and that's it. Maybe get a Ferris wheel down there. Oh, a merry go round. They, they might be pushing the pushing the uh, the button there, oh. just because I know that. Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> Tick Heads with Uncle Turks and Sean Hill. This is a segment where we go to your local community Facebook pages. Formerly, these would be the notice boards at a, uh, your local supermarket. Now, it's Facebook pages today going to the Waiheke Whinge. I love these. We, we, basically, people just complaining in their local uh, pages and me and Leighton listening to it and having our own reactions. <laughs> uh, producer Caleb joins us in studio to read out a post from. You're gonna have to say this name, Caleb, because I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher it. <laughs> so this is from the Waiheke Winch today, and this is Amadeus Carney Davis. Fuck, she's probably related to me, cuz I got family from the Waiheke area that yeah. are Davises, and my mum's maiden name is Davis. Waiheke. Ah, oh, fuck Waiheke. Nah, no Maldives over there, but okay. it's all Pakeha <laughs> Fanonga over there. It's so true, man. <laughs> so so it's the whitest part of New Zealand. So this comes from uh, Amadeus Carney Davis, and it says, So if you buy a vape from Vape Store and it doesn't work, you go back and ask for a replacement or a refund. However, my experience is that he can't do that. He needs to contact supplier. Really, can't you just refund me and sort your retailer on your side? That's not my problem. You have to speak to them. You can refund me and talk to them after. It was all one sentence, <laughs> by the great. way. Jesus, where are the fucking punctuation points? <laughs> it's clearly not working. Nor is your grammar. Anyway, <laughs> I've been refunded and banned. Oh, she got the old waka just, wanted, just wanted to whinge and say, vape store, you let me down. No customer satisfaction. Satisfaction. In context, it's a $50 Caliburn that stopped working within about four hours after buying. Now, the best thing about this is the comment section. And it always is on these pages. Before we get to the comments, can I just say my highlights of this post? Obviously, the pronunciation, uh, sorry, the punctuation is quite a good one. My other favourite part is that the, the vape store on Waiheke is called Vape Store. <laughs> because <laughs> there's only one. It's Why only bother? One. <laughs> Why bother coming up with a creative name? You wanna like, do you want to know my favourite part of this whole yarn? Yeah. She spelt 50 with 50. With a V-T-Y. <laughs> That has to show some fucking ingenuity there. But yeah, let's yeah, go to the comments. The F and the V aren't even next to okay. each other on the keyboard. She's actually just gone and misspelled that. <laughs> so to the comment section we go, team. And uh, this is probably the best comment on a community page. Bearing in mind this is about a vape store, Jesse James Haylock comes in clutch and says, <clears throat> Smoke a cigarette like a real man. <laughs> real man smoke ciggies. <laughs> real men smoke Get trout. back on the analogs, Amadeus. Fuck, man up, baby. Jesus. Man up, Gil. <laughs> We've got another from Waiheke Winge coming in uh, with a double shot today. Both Waiheke Winge today? Yep. And this is from Quina Kareen. Quite the interesting name. Shout out to the courier driver for just dropping my parcel on the fucking driveway. <laughs> Literally one job and you can't manage the arduous 50-ish metres to drop that package somewhere, not just sat on the side of the road. Honourable mention to the parcel last week, they got huffed in the bushes and the various plants that have been left sweating down to brown paste as well. Nice. Imagine having one fucking job. They really go hard on the swearing. That isn't rocket surgery. Not a and job. And being so apathetic, you can't be asked doing it properly. If mediocrity was a country, this driver would be its fucking ruler in perpetuity. <laughs> My favourite is that they've referenced... Uh, if your one job is rocket surgery, I um, I'm not convinced that that's an actual job. 
Sharon Casey from the Edges here. Oh, oh my God, guys, I'm so... Hang on, I'm your so mic's not on. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, guys. I I didn't look up before I walked in, and I just was I just just put my bag in, bag down. Yeah. Are you on a community page uh, of some kind on Facebook? You, yes. You strike yeah. me as the type of woman that would be on a community page. Come in, because we can't see. Made? Oh no. So I am on a community page, but I don't. Uh, contribute to it. I just like reading it. Also, I'm on like a mum's community page and let me tell you... <laughs> That's perfect. There are some out-the-gate dramas happening in people's families. Like, it's like a movie on there. There should be a podcast just about community pages in the mum category. Yeah, so good. What, are the, what do they talk about? All sorts of things. There'll be it, like bad relationships. Um, premenstrual. Yeah. Oh, right. No, not much premenstrual <laughs> stuff. But it'll oh, be sorry. like... My husband hasn't been home for three days because he's on a bender, and I don't know if I should leave him. And like, oh my God, it's like, yeah, if your husband hasn't been home for three days on a bender, like, even you know, tell him to sort it out or piss off. That's but me every weekend. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm joking. Every weekend. Nah, fuck Babe, that. Babe, I don't have the stamina for that anymore. Oh, Shit. I bet you do. Yeah, no, I don't. I definitely don't. But yeah, it, it's a lot of stuff like that. Or um, I'm on one for like Rimuera and Ellerslie. <laughs> and oh, great! I'll, I'll be joining that. That's amazing. Like people. People will be like, hey, has anybody seen this person? They've been hanging around my bed. Ah! Fuck! Ah! How the fuck are you? Layton, you have to you have to warn me before you do that. Yeah, good. How's your asshole? Usually no, it's fucking really clenched. I bet you it's, it's really m- clenched. I bet you it's moving. I know that you can't warn me because obviously hey! you've got treats, but usually your treats towards me are just like, Sharon's hot. You know? Yeah, usually, yeah. You are a bit of a milf there. Yeah. I will give you that. Do you know my greatest... Don't tell the bro. My great... I'll tell Sharon him. Sharon just lit up here and there. Oh, my God. My um greatest fear is that I'll be around um ticks one day and he'll be like... <coughs> he'll be like, Sharon's got an ugly face. And I'll be like, oh, that's what he really thinks of me. Yeah, show us your mutt. Anyway, oh. we're going to end it right there. <laughs> Sharon hey, Casey. Hey, 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 Don't you pretend that was a tick. <laughs> All right, let's move on. From the Edge, catch her on the Edge radio station, if the Edge FM. Tick Heads with Uncle Ticks and Sean Hill. Have you ever seen a dick pic? How about a tick pic? Um, I have this idea, Leighton. I think we need more giveaways on the show. You know, some successful yeah. podcasts have, like, good giveaways. Have you ever seen a tittle pic before, mate? No, we talked about this earlier. No, nah, a tittle pic. What's a tittle? <laughs> oh, uh, like an ass pic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it took me a minute. No, I've never took an Have you ever seen the tittle pick ever? No. What have you? No, I definitely wouldn't be able to see one because I don't have one. I'm confused. you got to tell me what tittle is. That's a menu. Oh, fucking... okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. My bad. <laughs> My bad. And this is good. I'm learning um, little bits of explicit <laughs> Maori language yeah. every week from doing the show with you. Chair tittle. All um, right. All the successful podcasts have specific merch that they can give away to their listeners. I know you're working on a range of uh, clothing merch at the moment. It's kind of cool, yeah, too. Yeah. It's really cool. And that's amazing. But in the meantime, um, I had this great idea called Tech Packs. Of course you fucking do. Where it's like, you know, because people's favorite part of this podcast are when you sometimes tick and you, you have like a funny tick and it's, it's quite good and you're good at laughing at it. What I thought is that we take a picture of you doing a tick and you like, and we write it out what the tick was. On a, on a bit of paper or on like a poster and then you sign it so they can put it so they that's, have this tick in their house forever so it's like one that's it's a photo of you ticking and it says sit on my face and then you sign it and you're Leighton Clark and then they win it and there's a fan of the show they'll go look I've got this and we have all the different ticks maybe mm. not some of the like I hate really Asian offensive people ones. yeah maybe not that sorry, one sorry that's a real terrible one sorry yeah but maybe the less offensive ones if yeah. you're okay with it, like obviously I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Yeah, that's hilarious. This is quite an intimate thing to do. Yeah, I'll tell you what's yeah. intimate, bro. Last fucking week <laughs> with fucking Valentine's Day. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not... Jesus, do I have to call people today? Yeah, that's no, so what I thought is how we can... Because you know that we've got this to give away. So we're going to... I thought we could um, give them away to someone right now. Since we haven't prepared it and we don't have any listeners on, we could do a segment where we call up a random number. Oh, we Jesus. put them on hold... And if they last for 10 seconds, then we give them a tick pick. <sighs> Who are we calling first? Are their numbers written down? Um, oh, I thought we could call the, um, the Wadi Fuddy head office. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I reckon they'd hold on for us. Today, to win an Up the Gaze signed tick pick by Leighton Clark, we're going to call the warehouse head office. How this works is if they stay on hold for 10... 
we are going to eventually do this with listeners and call yeah. them and put them on hold. If they stay on hold for 10 seconds, they win. But because we uh, have only come up with the idea right now on the fly, let's call the warehouse head office. Thank you for calling the warehouse group. Oh, God, I if hope she knows who I am. If you require, please enter it now, followed by the hash key. Do we have an extension? If you require assistance, please dial zero and you will be transferred. Oh, that sounds like us, assistance. Do you want to do it later and just ask them if they can hold there? Yeah. Hey, do you fellas? Go. Oh, that's really loud. <sighs> Wayne, so warehouse group, you're speaking of Alona. Hey, hey, just a quick couple of questions. Um, do you have any Mizuno blue bikes there? You have come through the head office. Are you after a warehouse or Torpedo 7? Oh, warehouse, please. Warehouse Mizuno bikes. Okay, I'll oh. transfer you through to customer support and see if they can help you further one moment. Okay, thank you. Leighton, you've gone off script. We, we went to put her on hold. No, no, I've got the next one. Okay. <laughs> ask her. This is your one now. <laughs> You're doing it now. Well, now I feel like I need to ask for a product that I'm interested in purchasing. Good music. Just letting you know, this call may oh. be recorded to help us coach. Joke's on you, we're recording as well. <laughs> Good afternoon, you're speaking to Anzac from the customer care team. Hey mate, you today. do you mind just holding there for one second? Thank you. Yes. yes! Sorry about that, mate. Sorry this is uh, that, Sean and, and Uncle Tex from the Tickets Podcast. We're doing a segment um, where we call up a random number and put them on hold, and if they hold for 10 seconds, we send them a prize. What? <laughs> Congratulations, my Congratulations. A, a tick pick coming your way. Yeah. Um, are we able to get like a, some like some details from you and like a place where I can send it to, and we'll send it to you? You've just won a prize. Oh, no, yeah, okay, uh, certainly, I can definitely do that for you. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll put you through to our producer. Is there anything you want to say before, just like a speech or anything, maybe, just to maybe thank someone for this opportunity? Oh, uh, shout out to my parents. Oh. Uh, my, uh, love them very much, my family, I'm a big family man, so oh, just shout shop, out to bro. them, and all the love to them. Um, stay safe this, this summer, you guys. Oh. Uh, thank you for calling in as well. This is really Happy, wholesome. Uh, made by Doris. thank you very much. Bye-bye. Now it's time for my favourite part of the show. What's Leighton prepped this week? This is where uh, Leighton comes up with a, a new segment. We give him a whole week to come up with a new segment on the show. Uh, last week he came up with a segment called, uh, I think, Packet Noodle Chat. Yeah, so about having hot noodles. Yeah. But then I also thought about something real different to do this week. Okay, well before we get to that, I think let's run uh, through with the segment you pitched last week. It's time for... Leighton Clark presents Packet Noodle Chat. The music. So um, I had some real spicy noodles over the weekend. I had some real spicy nong shims. And then I had some bulldog ones. The red nong shims, bro, are really spicy. And I tell you right now, my ass was very, very, very much hating me in the morning. I couldn't sleep all night, actually. I had them at around about midday. So by the time it got to about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, I needed the biggest shit anyone has ever seen in their lives. And it wasn't, it wasn't carby. You know how like carby poos are like really solid? This one was run diddly angry. This one was running for the hills, bro. I'm so sad. I thought the segment was meant to be you reviewing noodle packets, but it's just you telling us what noodles you've eaten this week. Yeah, I haven't got there yet. So the Nong Shims were really fucking spicy. Okay. Out of 10, probably like a solid eight. Yeah. Not the spiciest I've had. I had spicier ones from my mate that brought some home from Malaysia. They were really fucking fucky. So yeah. And then I had some bulldog ones, and I did um, put all of the spiciness in this time, and they were a Tino fucking noodle. It's not Tino pie, Tino noodle. Yeah. What have I planned for next week, though? You want to hear it? What's Leighton prepped this week? For next week, I have prepped wedding talk. Wedding talk? Well, I'm getting married soon. Oh, you are? How, how far away is that coming up now? When is it this year? You don't have to throw out the exact date. Give us a month. It's next year. Oh, next year. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a bit of time. Yep. And we're going to go on a stag do. So the wedding talk mm. 
is going to be stag do talk. Oh, I like that. So every yes. week you pitch like a new thing for your stag do. Yeah. So where do we go? Do we go to Carbo and do copious amounts of coke? Sorry, I couldn't help that. Do we go to Carbo or, <laughs> or somewhere in Mexico and do copious amounts of coronas? Extra picante, por favor, si, si, or go gracias. To, or right. go to uh, Rota Vegas and hit the luge. Yeah. You get rumbled by all the yolk fucks down there. I don't think so, bro. I don't want to get rumbled by all the black power down there. Do you know what? I had a mate who we went on a stag do to Queenstown last year, and it was real fun. What cool, he did cool, is cool, 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 there cool, were like cool, cool, cool. Sorry. 15 of us, and he asked us all to bring um, like 60 bucks each. 350 bucks each for a bag. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry that. Nah, that didn't happen. You were. So everyone bought 60 bucks. So there were 15 of us, and the idea was we're in the middle of Queenstown town. And he said... We gave it to him, the man who was getting married, and, and we said, go hide in a bar in Queenstown and put this all down on a bar tab. That's cool. And then we all split into random groups, and we had to try and find him by going bar to bar around Queenstown, but the only rule was every bar we went into, we all had to have a round before we could move on to the Smart. next bar. Have, did you, have you been down to that rodeo one? Did you get on the fucking bull down there, brother, and ride that shit like a baloney honey? I have, I've been there. I've never ridden it. Have you ridden it? Nah, I fucking hurt myself. I headbutted it last time. I went in there, so... <laughs> Me riding a mechanical bull doesn't work. But yes, yes, yes. Anyway, that could be a good idea for it. But um, no, I like that wedding chat. Yeah, stag do chat. Where Would do you... we go, boys? Okay. And also, send your missus a dick pic. Thanks, guys. Love you. Rolling. Tick Heads, the Uncle Tick's podcast. Right now, a message from our sponsors. G'day. My name's Leighton. Do you have trouble with your downstairs region? Is it lacking in size? <laughs> well, perhaps it's a really odd shape. Maybe banana. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're not the only one. Join me, not me, actually. Join my producer, Caleb, and many other men no, read by it purchasing- as, Read it as it's been written. This is from a client. No, it's fucking not! Join me and many other men by purchasing the new extra, extra small condoms from Johnny's Connie's. They come in all shapes too. 90 degree bend, curly fry, or even extra, extra wide. Join the Johnny Revolution today. Buy Johnny Connie's right now. I don't have a small cock, you fucking assholes. Move on. And I think that brings us to the end of this amazing uh, podcast award winning today. Thanks so much for listening to the show today. Um, what was your highlight? My highlight was when you called a guy from the warehouse and he hadn't heard of you, but then was also really excited to get a tick pick. And I don't think he really knew what that was. And he might've misheard my pronunciation, but he was still amped for it. 